viewer, this is Just Fake Network TV, a home of accurate news and current news. For those who subscribe to our channel, God bless you for subscribing. And if you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Security officials move to four stores. Headsmen, community clash in Anabra State. Frantic efforts are being to avert possible hostilities between Fulani headsmen and the Ebenibe community in Aqua North local government area of Anabra State. This follow the clashes that stemmed from the destruction of crops in farmlands in the area by the Fulani cattle headsmen. Heads of security agencies in the state, traditional rulers, heads of communities and representatives of Ibenibe community and Mayeti Ala Cattle Breeder Association were said to have met on Thursday, December 12, 2019, to resolve the crisis. It was also linked that security agencies in the state worked around the clock to foil any loss of life during the clash which occurred on Thursday. The meeting, which was confirmed in a press statement by the Public Relations Officers of Nigerian Security and Civil, Civil Defense Crop, NSCDC, ASC, or Cardigbo Edwin, said that the meeting was convened to assess the level of damage done on crops and livestock in the, in the community and to broker peace between the two parties. The statement read in part, the state commander of NSCDC, Anabra State, Command Comrade David Yu, Yu Billy, today on Thursday met with members of the state's Cartoon Menace Control, Cartoon Menace Control Committee, comprising of the Commissioner of Police, Committee Chairman, the Commander 302 Nigeria Army Artillery Regiment, Onisha, the Director's Department of State Service, traditional rulers of the surrounding towns, and representatives of Maheti Allah and Ibenibe community in Hakwa in North. The meeting was to resolve lingering issues between cattle rearers and farmers in Ibenibe community, which happened some days ago, which would have caused a breach of peace between the security agencies, restored normalcy to the area. Speaking to journalists, an indigenous of the community said that members of the community have had a long-standing crisis with cattle herders in the community because of continuous damage of crops by herds. It was further learned that a team of combined security forces have been stationed in the community to avert any form of repressive attack from any part of the parties. If you ask today, what is your own opinion about this news? What is your own take? Concerning the cases in Anabra community about the headsmen clashes over destruction of crops. So, viewers today, I believe what these headsmen are doing is so wrong. You can imagine a farmer that has sacrificed a lot of things, that has sacrificed his energy, that has sacrificed his money, and everything is time on a farm. And now, headsmen now destroy. The, the crops. It is very bad. It is very bad because how can someone use his business to destroy another person's own? And this so called government is keeping deaf here. And blind people must stand and defend their farmland government. Government is working with them. This is full and government. Don't wait for them. We don't need to wait for them to do the right thing. We must act. And also, what is, the, what is the governor of that state doing? What is the governor of that state doing to the level that they are destroying crops everywhere? This is so bad. Trust me, it is so bad. They need to do something on this headsman. People are tired of them. People are tired of them. And the worst thing is that they don't want to hear the truth. All these full at least, they don't want to hear the truth. That is their problem. And more also, where were the security when they were destroying crops? Where were they? So I can imagine the number of crops that these people would destroy. We don't know, maybe that is what such person is using to, to, to sustain his family. And now, the earth made the full and destroy the crops. You can imagine this. This is so bad. 
Because I believe that these Fulanese, they have become a menace in, in Nigeria. These Fulanese, they have become a problem, a big problem in Nigeria. That they believe that nobody can even control them anymore. That is their own belief. Probably because they know that their Ogakpatapata, the president, Muhammad the president, is their Ogakpatapata, and their Ogakpatapata final cannot even control them. You can imagine. It is so wrong. They are too like, they, are, they, they have this boldness, all these ex men. The way they are dealing with horse in the south south, the way they are dealing with people in the southwest, it is wrong. It is wrong. And they have not officially given land to this other's people and they are behaving like this. Look at what they are doing. They never give that to them officially and look at what the what the headsmen are doing. So how much more if Buhari led administration had succeeded the Ruga? My people, let's say for example, they now implement the Ruga settlement. These people, these Fulanese, they will govern the whole Nigerians. If they eventually implement Ruga settlements in Nigeria, because they will have the power to do and undo, they will have the power to maneuver, they will have the power to do so many wrong things. And thank God that Nigerians, we Nigerians, will disagree on this Ruga settlement. Because by now, Nigerians would have been on fire. I'm telling you. Because in short, all this Fulani, they are the beast. They are the highest beast that you can call. They are the they are the highest one. So these people, they in fact, I don't know why their cows are destroying crops. Their cows are destroying so many things. And the government is not doing anything about it. Look at what happened in Osho State. The Etsmen went there and they ran away overnight. All these Etsmen with their cows, they ran away overnight. They said thunderstorm want to kill them, that they cannot wait. So which means that they don't have any power over, all the, all, over the thunderstorm. So they now took all their cows away. They said, they even said that their lives are no more safe. That their lives are in danger. I believe if everyone can do the same thing to them, they will come back to their senses. They will go back to where they come from. They will go back to where they come from. And believe me, believe me, all these full of this, they have, in fact, they have charms. They have strong charms. And they believe in their charms. That is what they do. So these people, they hide under, under rearing of cows and they are doing bad things. They hide under, 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 take, under, under rearing of cows and they, they are doing evil, evil things. It is crazy. It is crazy. The South, South, the Southwest should not give them any chance anymore. Even the Higos, everybody should work together and go against these people. Because they want to, they want to, they want to see it as if it is their country. And they are the only ones that hold the country, which is wrong. Which is wrong. So my viewers today, what do you think about this news? What is your own opinion? Kindly drop your comments below. Click on the subscription button. And also press the bell icon to get updates whenever we upload videos. Bye.